Hi, I'm Anastasia, personal trainer and fitness instructor from the Corpus Christi Athletic Club, here to show you some core and upper body exercises you can do at home. If you have a stability ball like this one, or larger or smaller than this one, you're welcome to use it. If you do not, you'll be able to do these exercises without any equipment at all. And I'll guide you through that too. Feel free to put on your own music to jam out in the background. And we're gonna do this more Pilates style where we're doing a single set of our abdominal exercises, but we'll go through three sets of the two upper body exercises I have for you today. All right, so we're gonna start with the Pilates 100, classic Pilates exercise. We're gonna come down onto a mat or towel or just onto your floor. If you're using a stability ball, we're gonna give it a nice tight squeeze between those legs and lower it down as much as we're able while making sure our low back stays on the mat. Head, neck, and shoulders are elevated if that's okay for your neck, like you're holding a little lemon between your chin and your chest. Again, lowering that ball or the legs to where you feel like you can, and you can have the knees bent if needed. We inhale for five, exhale for five. Small sips of breath. We inhale, two, three, four, five. Exhale, shh, 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 shh. Inhale through the nose. Exhale out the mouth. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale, squeeze that ball. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale, exhale, last three, exhale, last two, exhale, last one, two, three, four, five, exhale, two, three, four, five, relax. Head, neck, and shoulders down. Rock your head from side to side. If at any time you feel too much pressure or strain happening in your neck, you can always put your head down. Moving into a push-up. If you're using a stability ball at home, we're gonna come onto it. If you do not have a stability ball, you can take a push-up on your knees with your belly pulled in tight up on your toes or even elevated with your hands on a piece of furniture or countertop. If you're using your stability ball, the way I approach, I bring my knees to the ball. I start to walk my hands forward. So I'm gonna keep myself in the frame here for you. Now you can walk out as far as you need. I'm right below my knees and I'm not letting my hips sag. I'm pulling them up, pulling the navel up and in to keep the low back safe. 15 push-ups. I'd like you to inhale on the way down and exhale on the way up. Please use your range of motion and keep your neck neutral. So you're looking just beyond your fingertips. Very good. Keep that abdomen lifted. We're still getting abdominal work here. If you feel pressure in your back, you need to adjust. Very nice. Once you're done, we'll come off that ball. Moving in to stability ball pass. Again, if you do not have a stability ball at home, you could use a soccer ball or a pillow or a kid's or a dog toy for this too. So we're just passing an item between the hands and the feet. I'm gonna start with the lowest level of pressure on the spine. That would be with knees bent, head, neck, and shoulders down. I grab that ball, I pass it back, lower those legs a little bit, and I pass it back. If I need to make this harder, I can lengthen my legs, and if I need to make this harder still, I can lift my head, neck, and shoulders and increase the range of motion. Let's exhale in the center. Inhale to reach. Deliberate movement, connected breath. Put your head, neck, and shoulders down anytime you need to. Let's do three more each way. Two. And one. One. Very good. Legs in, head, neck, and shoulders down. 
rock your head from side to side. Let's move into that second set of push-ups. Again, using your stability ball if you have one. If not, knees, toes, or hands on furniture countertop. Coming to a place on your ball where you can maintain the integrity of your spine. Navel lifted, let's move. 15 push-ups. Using the range of motion that works best for you, gazing just beyond the fingertips. Five, four, three, two, and one. Very nice. Let's come on off the ball. One more abdominal exercise with the ball. Coming in to a leg lower and hip lift. Again, if you don't have your ball, don't worry about that. You can do this exercise. It'll be very with effective without. So again, if you need less stress on the spine, you can bend your knees a little bit, lower the ball, maybe just a little bit of the way, and then maybe using the arms to help lift those hips a little bit away from the floor. Now, I do not want you to put your hands under your butt. Don't do that. We want to know where the position of the spine is in relation to the floor. Navel to spine, push your low back down. If you want, you can extend your legs all the way. If you want, you can lift your head, neck, and shoulders with wide elbows and like you've got a little limb in between your chin and your chest. Let's take 15 from here. Using the range of motion that works for you, bending the knees if needed, and try to control. We have this opportunity here to use momentum. And you could use a little bit, but our core muscles are going to work so much harder if we do not use that momentum. Make sure you're breathing. Last three, two, and one. Very good. My abdominal muscles are burning. I hope yours are too. Relax head and neck, relax the belly. One more set of push ups. Again, on your knees, elevated on your toes, or using the stability ball. Now, if you need to make this a lot harder, you could come all the way out to your toes on the ball or even raise one leg. I'll try my toes. One leg, maybe not today. 15 push ups. Very good. Keep breathing. Very nice. Release from the ball if you're using it. And we're not going to need that ball anymore for the rest of your exercises. So the rest is completely without equipment. We've got three more abdominal exercises and three sets of a tricep dip using just the floor. All right, coming in to crisscross. This is like a bicycle, but with a lot more control. One leg extended, one knee bent. Opposite shoulder moving toward opposite knee. Reach those legs long, so we're not yanking on the neck. Keep those elbows wide. Lemon between chin and chest. One and one. Why don't you try an inhale, inhale, exhale, exhale. Really deliberate with that breath. Helps really connect the core. Reach long. Very good. Keep those elbows wide. Good. Let's do five more of each. Means five more inhales, five more exhales. Last three, two, 
and one. Very nice. Head, neck, and shoulders down. Rock your head side to side. Maybe rock on that low back a little bit. Coming up to sitting on the hip for a mermaid tricep dip. Your front hand comes down, fingers face away. Back arm wraps. Now, if I pull my knees in a lot, this is gonna be harder than extending my legs out. I'm gonna bend my elbow, dropping the shoulder toward the floor. Let's do 12 here. Very nice. Pushing through the heel of the hand. Feel your tricep working right there. Last five, four, three, two, and one. Very nice. Let's do the other side. Front hand comes down, fingers looking away. Back arm wraps, giving a little hug. Knees closer, a little easier is further away. We bend the elbow, shoulder comes down. Feel your tricep working just for 12. Good. Make sure you're breathing. Nice. Five, four, three, two, and one. Very good. Coming in to our next Pilates core exercise. Double leg stretch. One of my favorites. Again, these are my favorites, so I hope you like them too. They are challenging. You have lots of options here. We're going to take 15 total. We're going to squeeze into a little ball. Tuck your nose toward your knees. Now your head can come down as your arms reach out and your legs can reach up. If you want, those legs can reach lower. If you want, you can keep head, neck, and shoulders up. Let's continue. One, I didn't count those first three. You may have gotten a bonus. Working at your level. And you can even have your head, neck, and shoulders down the whole time if you want. Maybe exhale in. Inhale, reach. Very good. Point those toes, reach those legs. Five, four, three, two, one. Very nice. Head down, rock it side to side. Rock it on up. Next set of our mermaid tricep dips. Front hand down, fingers look away. Back arm wraps, bend the elbow. Tap that shoulder. If it feels too easy, draw your knees in closer, just for 12. Now I'm not giving us any breaks here. This is because we're not doing any one type of exercise or any one exercise multiple sets in a row. So we can continue to move. Hopefully that's brought your heart rate up a little bit. Last one. Very nice. We'll give us a little bit bigger calorie burn in a shorter amount of time. Fingers face away. Wrap. Bend your elbow. Very nice. And it doesn't take a real long time to get a great core workout but it is safe to work those core muscles every day. They recover quickly, especially when we're using Pilates style core work. Very safe. Two and one. Wonderful. All right. Scissor stretch. We're gonna roll down onto the back again. Your head, neck, and shoulders can be down or up. One leg reaches long, we grab behind the calf or the thigh. Other leg stretches long, we pulse the bottom leg for two and switch. Pulse, pulse, switch. Lift head, neck, and shoulders if you'd like. Very nice. Make sure you're breathing. Maybe we take inhale here and exhale here. Now, I'm giving you a lot more repetitions with these Pilates style exercises than you would see in most 
matte Pilates classes. That's okay. Nothing wrong with that. It's not going to hurt you. We're just going to feel that burn a little more. And that's a great thing. Very nice. Let's go five more from here. We get this nice stretch. I love that about this exercise. Three. Chin lemons distance away from your chest. And one. One. Knees in, neck and shoulders down. Rock your head side to side. Very nice. Rocking it up for one more set of mermaid tricep dips. Fingers look away. Back arm wraps, dropping that shoulder toward the floor. You can hold on to that tricep, feel it working. That little light touch is gonna tell those muscle fibers to work a little more. Four, three, two, one. Always connecting your breath, preferably in the nose and out the mouth forcefully. Fingers look away, back arm wraps, bend. Very nice. Good. Five more, last five. Four, three, two, and one. Wonderful. Work to those pectoral muscles, those triceps, lots of core exercises. Also uh, is a cool down video for you that you can look at right after this. I appreciate you joining me for some core and upper body work today. Remember, you are stronger than yesterday, and we will come back from all of this so much stronger than we were before, and we're going to hug each other like crazy. Have a wonderful day.